Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and grand rising. It's your girl, Frugal Mama, and it's time to work out with me, work out with me, work out with me. Hey, work out with me, work out with me, work out with me. Hey, let's go. Let's get it. Happy Friday, y'all. We made it. Okay. We made it. We made it. We made it. Um, So it is time for the workout, baby. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. Give myself a thumbs up right quick. Oh, goodness. I'm just yawning away. Okay, here we go. Let me let in Facebook right quick. Let me see what the Facebook people. Facebook, are you with me? Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Before we get started, remember, I always shake with a doctor medical professional before starting any diet exercise routine. I'm not a doctor medical professional. I'm just a girl on YouTube having some fun. So if that's what you came to do, you are in the right place. Welcome in. And if not, check out some of my other content. Maybe you're digging what I'm giving over there. With that being said, you are held accountable and responsible for your thoughts, your actions, and the repercussions thereof. This is not instructional. This is not instructional. This is an opportunity for you to do what you do. Oh, shit. <laughs> for me to do what I do, but let's do it together. Let's stay together okay good morning everybody what's going on it's friday y'all oh we 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 woo woo to the woo 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 boy boy it's so many it's always you know what i keep on saying life keep lifing okay life keep lifing okay everything just gonna keep on keeping on keeping on keeping on we're gonna participate or we're gonna let life happen to us i choose to participate and be a part of the process yes 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 that's what i'm choosing all right i'm, I'm assuming that everybody can hear me two three four five six seven i put on them glasses but they so dirty i can't even see out of them so let me hold up y'all All right, all right. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Our affirmation for today. Yes, we're sticking with the affirmation, nourish the uh, soul, and make sure we keep strengthening the mind. I inhale the highest and best, best vibrations. I inhale all the joy of life's blessings. Woo, yes. These are reminder cards, shoot. This is what I'm talking about. What activity sets your soul on fire? If you aren't sure, then think back to childhood, to your childhood. What did you love to do as a child? Oh, I don't know. I don't even remember. I blocked out most of my childhood. I'm just trying to go forward right now. What make me happy right now? Uh, set my soul on fire. Mm, that's a good one, y'all. Think, think, think. What set your soul on fire? Okay. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to get back with it. I'm going to keep on thinking about that. Y'all, nonetheless, let me go ahead and say hello to everybody so we can get started with the workout. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all have big plans this weekend? We have no plans, y'all. We have no plans because the children are with the in-laws so, okay what a blessing what a blessing but we got to go get them next week uh so we foot loose and fancy free okay do some oops. we gonna probably do some um oh now i can hear myself we probably gonna do some yard work get that out the way because we ha we have a person who comes and mows um but they've been mowing so low that it has like killed the grass so we're trying to grow the grass and so you know it's always something to do it's let me tell you it's always something to do i can clean out the garage i could i could stay busy oh moderate okay uh yeah okay good morning one busy mama good morning boss lady denise good morning patty southern kitchen and more good morning sweet reed good morning unique speaks hey hey those are our members in the house Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Ama. Good morning, um, um, Joshua, Justin, Kenneth. 
a six C. Hey, six C. Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? <laughs> Good morning, Steve Gilmore YouTube channel. Good morning, Tamika Davis. Good morning, everybody that's in the building. If I missed it, oh, that's Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Patty. Good morning, Ama. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. We read. Happy Friday, 20 months. Oh, my God. <laughs> Member hype. Member hype. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. I got something for you right there. Hold up. Y'all already know how Fuga Mama do it right quick. Hold on. Let me see. Get lost. That's what I do. Hey. Ooh, we thank you. You are awesome even fit but i like it okay stop playing with me <laughs> oh that is so cute okay y'all we about to get we about to get it in y'all we uh we we let me see what we're doing we're doing our squats squat steps squat steps even though that uh the derrick's journey step challenge is over for may i'm sure they bring it back in june i don't know it's too hot out here for me and I'm telling you, I be ready. I can't even hardly breathe when I walk outside. So let's uh, let's warm it up, and we're gonna get get it going. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it for June. <laughs> Not June, July. It probably be in July if they do it. I don't know, champ. But so uh, the outcome of the uh, step challenge should be coming up. Good morning, Miss Laurie. Good morning, cruising is fun anytime. Welcome in. Let me tell y'all something. Let me warm up these shows. So I'm down in the 160s. Yeah. I started out uh May at one 174.9. And um six months, baby. Member hope. Come through, Queen. Come through, Queen. Queen be out there working too. I can't stand. I'm telling y'all, I can't stand the gym. I can't wait till that membership is up. I, I I I love that so many people are passionate about the gym. I wish I could just have a gym at home. I ain't got to share with nobody, wipe nothing down, spend half of my gym time wiping stuff down and all that kind of stuff. So big up to Queen in the building doing her thing. I love it. Stay up, baby. Stay up. Keep doing your thing. I just I got I just got to make this work up here. But I'm gonna start jump roping this month. Probably won't be on camera because. When I get up in the morning, it's dark as heck. We got possums, raccoons. <laughs> you would you would think that I'm in the country somewhere, baby. Now I'm in the city. I'm in the city, but these rascals is everywhere. I'm telling you. Um, and so high knees, we gonna warm it up, and then we are gonna get into some um some squat action. I'm excited about squat action. Um, cause y'all know I love my squats because I'm trying to keep that booty lifted on up. Keep it lifted up and <laughs> do all these squats and then go sit down for eight hours. <laughs> Don't make sense. Don't make sense at all. I'm trying to tell you. But hey, gotta do what we gotta do, right? Good morning, Joe. It be the difference clothing LLC. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, Kenneth. Let's say good morning. Hey, Kenneth. Okay, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Okay, that was, that was cutting me wrong, you know. Mm -mm. All right, there we go. Here we go, y'all. So, y'all, it's Friday. Yeah. So, after I get off work, I have to go to acupuncture. And um, then I'm free for the weekend. Free for the weekend. Oh, man, I miss my babies. The door, they, they, I, don't even, I can't even look in that room, y'all. I just got their door closed. And I'll be like, I haven't heard them say mommy again. Y'all know. It, it is, yeah, I'm, I'm a lame -o. Um, We're going to go with the, uh, rotating toe touches oh yes because we got to do these squats we got to warm up these quads um so we ain't trying to pull nothing hurt nothing and then take a week or so to try to heal up <laughs> i don't know about nobody else but shoot them pains and stuff be coming through huh um rich new designs what's up west thank you for coming through did i see miss uh miss anita Yes, hi, Miss Anita. Good morning. Oh man, oh that feel good, y'all. Oh, just to feel that good old stretch as we warm it up. Oh yes, oh that feel good. I'm telling you, it's funny how a little simple, simple movement can be make you um, feel like, hey, 
I forgot about this muscle. I forgot about that muscle. Good morning, Mr. Gilmore. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. Okay. We're going to do one last one. And that's just to warm up the calves. Okay. Oh, y'all hear all that popping? Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Miss Wanda. How are you? Good morning. Oh, man, it feel good. Okay. Because the calves and the ankles, um, sometimes we forget. We forget that, we you know, we have to warm those areas of our body up. Now, if when I'm just going out to go walk, I may not like do an extensive um, extensive warm up, but I still try to warm up my joints because them joints, baby, if we don't, and that's one thing, uh, that's one thing I wish I had listened better to my elders. Ray of sunshine. Hey friend, how you doing? It's so good to see you. Y'all, we used to just study together and do our thing. And once I completed my certifications, I was like, man, I don't even need this channel no more, <laughs> but I need to get back studying. I need to get back studying because I want to do that nutrition course because, man, if I can get my nutrition down, I would be like a runway model. I'll be Tyra Banks fine. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, I would be on it. Hey, Tristan. <laughs> Got caught up in here. I would be, I'm telling you, I would be runway model fine. I like... It ain't even that I like to eat, because I do like to eat. It's just, if you get, like, I can I can have all healthy food, like that chicken. Okay, here we go. You want to warm it up? Uh, we're getting these steps in right now. This is this this is the workout right here. One minute. Here we go. I should do 45 seconds, then wait. Rest 15 seconds. I ain't got time. We're going to go one minute. Then go right on into the next exercise. But we low go low impact. Go ahead. You want low impact? Go ahead. Good morning, Tamika Davis. I already said good morning. I think about five times. But just in case y'all, y'all have to pardon me. Your arms look fabulous. I know. I know. Thank you. Yes. Do the nutrition course. I knew you was gonna try and motivate me to go ahead and do it. I just want. I, I really need to go. They, they say it's hard. That exercise recovery course almost blew my dog on mine. I had to come up with all these different scenarios, what, what uh, minerals people should take. They give you a scenario, and then you have to write it out. It ain't no true, false, or nothing. They, and they analyze it. And they came back to me on my exercise recovery course and said, hey, you need to, um, you need to expand upon this first. I say, doggone. And so I gotta be ready. Oh, that feel good. Okay, let's do some squats now. I'm gonna grab my resistance band. Cause I'll try to, I'll be trying to, I'll be trying to um, I'll be trying to um get it in. Use resistance bands to maximize your work, honey. Them resistance bands will make you dance. Bands will make you dance, okay? Ah. Uh, and get down up in there. And it keeps my knees from kind of buckling in. Because when you kind of knock me, your knees have a tendency to try to come together. So you need to make sure that they point out to keep them safe. And if they buckling in, you probably need to like widen your stance. And make sure you're going down into that squat. I didn't even set a timer. Let's go. One minute. It's all right to do a few more than you anticipated. Uh, but um, so I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to take it. Maybe I'll set a goal to take it by the end of the year. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'm I'm definitely going to take it. I just don't know when I'm going to take it. And, all the, and you can have all the information you have all the information available to you. But if you don't, if you do not utilize that information, it's just like a coat hanger. It's like a coat hanger. I mean, not a coat hanger, um, a hat rack. You just keep sitting hats on there, but you ain't doing nothing with them. You got to do something with that information. Like I was telling you about that chicken. 
I was only gonna eat a chicken and a leg. I mean, a a, a leg and a a wing. Yeah, I ate half the chicken one day, and the other half the next day. That's that's a problem. They told me, girl, something ain't right. <laughs> something ain't right with you. You you sad. You got something going on. You gotta fix it. Cause that's not you. Just and I was so full, y'all. I was so full. I was disgustingly full. That's the that's that's the main thing. And it it was good. Rotisserie, healthy, but not when you still overindulge, right? Good morning, Hilda. DC is in the building. <laughs> so we all have our struggles, but guess what? We gonna keep on going. Okay. This time we gonna go. We're going to get steps and squat. So we're doing our stop, I mean, our squat step. Here we go. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, shakalaka. Boom, let's go. Boom. Boom. Boom, step squat. Step squat, step squat, step squat. Get down in it and come on over. Get down on it. Uh, Get down on it. One more step there. But that let me know that for some reason, my emotions was out of whack. Because that's not typical behavior. But if you don't monitor it, what you eat every day, you don't know what's typical and what's not typical, right? Hey, Nikki, Nikki. Whew. So, and this is not just a matter. Of, good morning, Marlena. It's not just a matter. Of, whew. Okay, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it moving. It's not just a matter of saying, "Okay, you're full. Stop," because some something there is a disconnect in my head, in my mouth. Okay. So, with that being said, I saw. I hadn't seen my therapist in probably about six months. I said, I need to let all this out. And she said, I said, why is it every May, June, August, September, I have these same issues. I already know the, the issue. I am grieving, but I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, to ex, ex, um, I don't want to utilize food as comfort for that grief. I said, in my mind, I know that death is a part of life. And I got to, unlike a lot of people, I got to say goodbye. Uh, but every May, it, 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 and then for Father's Day, you know, I go through that emotion and I just, and I lean on what I'm very comfortable with, which is food, but it don't lead to no comfort. It leads to discomfort. It leads for me more work to try to work off what I've comforted myself with. And and I comfort myself with my family. Uh, we, we, you know, we have my um, aunt's birthday party and um and it's the 24th and my dad died on the 27th of may right and um so we i try to hang out with my family i try all the things and yet it still get to me and i still go back to what i'm comfortable with uh, and say so if last year what we tried to do was honor him and go do what he liked to do which was bowling and um uh, it was okay and um, I still, still, still went back to the same thing. I just missed somebody coming. Hey, Cheryl, with the glitter world. Um, so it's 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 a it's a never ending thing. And I'm telling you, I tried all the things that I suggest to other people. Go take a walk. I walked, I walked more in May than I have all year. You know what I'm saying? Probably cumulative all year, just to see what 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 will work. But every, I mean, the same thing ain't gonna work all the time. So I tried different things, you know what I'm saying? Journaling, <laughs> tried all the things. But sometimes I said, you know what? 
maybe I just need to be sad and just cry, you know, uh, sad and just whatever. But that's just not me. But it's still in. It's it's like the heart and the mind not what just couldn't line up. It's hard for me to line it up in in this in this season. But anyway, y'all. That's why you have to have support of your friends and family. I get a text from somebody. Hey, how you doing? You doing all right? <laughs> you doing all right? I say, yeah, I'm doing all right. You know, it's not like I'm um, like, um, oh, y'all, let's stretch, y'all. This is, this is it right here. Uh, and we're going to do, I love this twisted chair pose. So we're going to stretch out the arms, stretch out the arms. And so uh, this, uh, my grandma on my mom's side, my dad, and my grandma on my dad's side died all in 2008, right? February, May, and July. It was a hard year. And, oh, I am not doing this exercise right. Hold on. Um, this stretch right. This way, there we go. I'm wondering why I didn't feel the same. For those that's interested in this stretch right here, it is great for the digestion digestive system. So if you have like gastrointestinal issues, try this stretch. It may help, especially if you suffer from constipation, indigestion, and stuff like that. Oh, Whew. but anyway, y'all, so I'm just telling y'all some of the things that I've been going through. So now, usually when I hit a, a different um, weight level, go down from the, you know, from the 200s to the 190s, 80s, and so forth and so forth. Usually I come to like a standstill for a minute, but it's still been coming off, still been coming off. And I'm telling you, um only like um the only time it just went up and then have to come back down was when um um i didn't get sleep and i drank alcohol so you know it is kind of is what it is i'm hoping that i'm praying i'm praying i'm praying i'm praying that i that rain is coming because otherwise i got an inflammation of my arthritis for no reason I don't even know it's been here so it usually tell me within two days that it's going to rain because uh, uh you know the atmospheric pressure starts to weigh on the joints and stuff like that so here we go y'all i inhale the highest and best vibrations i inhale all the joy of life's blessings yes but um uh, yeah mm. Mm, mm, mm. I love that. What activity set your soul on fire? If you aren't sure, then think back to your childhood. What did you love to do as a child? Man, I used to just climb stuff out as a child. I used to be climb on top of houses, climb on top of cars, top, climb up, uh, you know, you everybody, I mean, you know how you have... Um, one of those uh things where the water come in drain all that kind of stuff we used to be all up in there going up and down the the uh what's the name and stuff uh but now i think what brings me joy when i get a good deal on something and when i give it brings me a feeling of euphoria um and it feels so good y'all it feels so good like when you get a good deal like we went to wild walgreens last week and um paid 30 something dollars and got 50 something dollars almost 60 something dollars back in cash rewards or uh books oh baby we was on top of the world honey we, we felt like we had just woo kickball oh i love kickball yes 
Okay, so um, let's do the question of the day. We're going to read from the X Faith, get on up out of here so I can head over to Unique Speaks for prayer, inspiration, and motivation. Oh, okay, let me see. Let me read another. Which science fiction author is buried in Providence, Rhode Island? A, Isaac Eshavu? No. Asha Move. A S I M O V, whatever that is. B H P Lovecraft or C Ray Bradbury. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, man. Oh, it was hidden on over there at Wild Green last week. <clears throat> okay, today is January 2nd. I'm trying to think how I want to do my jump roping. I'm um, but last time I did a jump rope challenge, baby. Who it was, it was outstanding. I'm just thinking back. Okay, January 2nd. Nothing ever strikes without warning. Danny Glover. Go ahead, put your answers to the question in the chat. Oh, I have I would not have no, any idea because I'm not a real science fiction type of person. So whenever we have a negative encounter, we wonder how could they do this to me? The reason is because you let them. Basic human nature makes us see people and situations the way we want them to be, not the way they are. Mm. We allow others to take advantage, manipulate, and in some cases abuse us because we don't want to believe what our senses are telling us to be true. Mm. We listen to the same old line, accept the same dead promises, Follow them down the same road in hopes they have changed. We listen to what they say and hear something else. Mm. What a deception, honey. We see what they do and turn our face. When the bottom falls out, we quickly place the blame for the pain on the other person. We shift out anger to them rather than accept our responsibility for the role they played. There are three keys to successful relationships. Never make anyone else responsible for your happiness. Woo! Okay. Um, trust what your inner self feels. See and sees and says. And play close, pay co close attention to the warning signs. Oh man, you don't be wanting it to be true, huh? You do not want it to be true, but you know, be like, man, mm, hey Tim, <clears throat> I listen to what is said, not what I hear. Mm, listen to what's said, not oh Lord, are they bringing it today? Bring it. Um, affirmation, our daily affirmation. Remember, I am confident in who I am. I love and accept myself every day. How many times you gonna say that, frugal mama, every day? I am confident in who I am. I love and accept myself every day. I am confident in who I am. I love and accept myself every day. Woo, baby, baby. Yes, okay. We want to believe that everybody is kind, right, and all of the big sons. What up? Hey, thank you so much for your love and your support. You already know. Um, smash that like button. Yes, um, please smash the like button. And I say that every day. I am confident in who I am. I love and accept myself every day. I was listen listening to uh, Sade, 100% Facts. You are responsible for your own happiness. And anything else is a bonus. That part, Miss Lori. Yes. Um, I was listening to somebody's testimony and they kept saying, um, Lord, they, they had lost their job, their car, um, and uh, something else. But she said, one day I just said, Lord, I'll give it to you. I give it to you. I want this. And she said, the next day I got a call. I got a call because, you know, you, you, you're supposed to, when, like, I ain't going to say what you're supposed to do. You say, God, I want, I want this. I need this, whatever the case may be. If it's for you, you will see those things start to manifest when God says, okay, you ready? 
And so when you say you speak that life over you, speak that life, speak that life, speak whatever it is. You speak that love. You speak that success. You speak that abundance because like, like they say, life and death uh, lies in the power of the tongue. Um, and so I, that's all I remember. I remember my mom saying that uh, as a child. And I say, oh, it still reigns true because that word is everlasting. OK, yo, let's go. Let's get it. It's Friday, baby. Yes, honey. Um, so speak. That's why I keep and, and, and I and I noticed that I was listening to somebody else, too. And they said I walk over there in their house and it's positive um, post-it notes everywhere. You got this, whatever the case may be. You're beautiful. This, that and the other. So when you know that for yourself, you ain't got to worry about what nobody else telling you because you already know you ain't got to wait on that validation from nobody, period. OK, you waiting on you get all dressed up and you go out, you say, oh, somebody finna compliment because I know I look good. But baby, you give yourself that compliment. That's why I got a mirror by the uh, by the by the door. I leave out. Uh, I go right there. That's that's one of the reasons. And it also keep me going like, every time I go in the kitchen, be like, are you hungry? Or are you just going in here to eat? So then I look at myself that be real with yourself, because if you can't be real with yourself, you can't be real with nobody else. OK. Um, anyway, um, I got that mirror. I said, I'll just validate myself before I leave. Yeah, you you fire today, baby. You fire. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yes, honey. I'm telling you, because you wait, you can't, you cannot um, look for that validation in anybody else, period. Okay, so which science fiction author is buried in Providence, Rhode Island? It is H.P. Lovecraft. Anybody know H.P. Lovecraft? Have um, read any of their books? I don't know if that's a man or a woman. I think men think of more horrible things than women. Does that, do y'all know about that? You, oh, there are more science fiction like those type of uh, authors that are men versus women. I want to know. Anyway, yeah, because they, 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 I, I don't want. I don't. I don't. I don't even want that. I'm, that's what I tell Tasha. Look, don't be. Watching all this, uh, all this stuff because it puts the energy up in here. Uh, uh-uh, no, <laughs> y'all know I'm extra. Okay, I, I, I'm surrounding myself with peace, positivity, and thoughts of prosperity every day, all day, for real, for real. Okay, for real, for real. I know. I, I'm telling you, ain't no future in my front. I ain't no, ain't no front over here. I'm telling you, I try to stay positive all the time, <laughs> all the time. You hear me? All right, y'all, let's get on up out of here. It's Friday, baby. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey. Woo-woo. Okay. Feel like I need to be going to the hole in the wall or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was cracking up laughing, big son, because he said the kids in the neighborhood say they, they saw old man. He said, well, he probably got everything. Let's go see if he got something to air this ball up. <laughs> Woo! Um, mm-hmm. We not holding back. We not holding back. Two step. Yeah. Look, look at my friend right there. Hey, hey, sissy, how you doing? Hey, sissy, how you doing? Yay, yay, yeah, yay, yay. We not holding back. Bang, bang. It's the weekend, baby. It's the weekend, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we had 1300 steps. I think we can get 500. I mean, 1500 right quick, right quick, right quick. If your children are out of school, grown or whatever. Whew. Um, if you can help some young young lady in the on the quest, and some of some young ladies don't want the help, but maybe you can just slide in there and get the help. Um, hey Charming Tracy, we're saying something to them that would be encouraging to them because you know um um, tam tam was talking about dc young flies um partner i can't think of her name and you know she went in for the elective surgery and didn't make it 
But um, um, maybe some some of the village coming together, like what like my cousin spoke about on the Turner Talk podcast. She said, before I became a mother, me and my family didn't talk about what they went through with uh when they had children she said i was anxious I, I had my anxiety was on a thousand and nobody knew about it but her husband and then she went she told her mom and now she's saying you know what i need to share this with the world to make it normalize it so you know that this is a possibility so we have to come keeps keep coming together y'all keep coming together and don't hold it well i can't tell nobody about this because i don't want nobody to see me as weak i don't want nobody to see me hey let that out you're gonna implode or you're gonna explode when you implode you hurting yourself and when you explode you typically end up hurting somebody else okay um so let's come together yes that's not the song but you know i have to remix it but let's stay there and be there for one another y'all um so i encourage you as i encourage myself keep striving for your goals your dreams your aspiration if you have no goals no dreams no aspiration help somebody else okay if you've done all that you came on this earth to do you feel like it then help somebody else but i know then I know if you woke up this morning, God has a purpose and a plan for your life. So let him use you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yes.